Hey, it's AQ Briar Horses 30, 734 back with my next Briar Fest 2015 video. So in this one I'm going to go through my just regular briars um, that I picked up at the Clarion, uh, at the park, different places, whatever. Maybe I met people up. And uh, so I'm going to go like maybe conga by conga. I picked up maybe a couple horses of a mold or something. So I'll, I'll go by that. And so I'll start with the Smarty Jones mold. So I picked up Smarty Jones. He was actually part of the Black Horse Ranch collection from Karen Grimm. So I'm very excited that he is part of that conga since Smarty Jones is a little more of a easier to find horse. thought it was cool that he was a part of Karen's collection. So he's a little more special than some of them. And this guy was an awesome deal. He's Rushmore on the Smarty Jones mold, and I actually found him for $55 at the Clarion, which I was extremely happy with. And I've never actually seen him in person. And for those of you that haven't either, he has got beautiful dapples going on. Like, he is just an awesome horse, and I'm so glad that I could find him. So these are the two new additions for my Smarty Jones conga. And next is Breeshin. He's the only one that I got on the mold this weekend. Um, he's another one that I haven't ever seen in person either. I personally love his mane. His mane is my favorite. And uh, my little brother is actually kind of jealous that I got him because he is in love with his mane as well. And his tail, just the, just the color of it is just so unique and very, very awesome. Um, I don't really feel like he's a very realistically colored horse, um, but that's my own opinion. But I like decorators, and I don't really care what color they are because I just think he's pretty. And he's got some light dappling. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up. It's very cute. His eyes are beautiful. Love him. And Roxy. She's been an obtainable, obtainable grail for quite some time. I just have not been able to find her for a price that I want to pay that isn't outrageous. Um, finally found her at, at the Clarion. Um, I paid 40 bucks for her, which I feel like is a pretty good price compared to what some of the other prices were. I found her new in box at the Clarion for $100, and I was like, nope. Um, so I'm, I'm really, really happy to have her in my collection. Uh, Stacy Westfall is an equestrian that I look up to greatly. I think she's an amazing woman. I've met her before and talked to her. So I really, really, really wanted Roxy in my collection. And these are my running foals that I got at Briarfest. Um, these were all purchased at the Clarion, um, none at the actual park. Uh, let's see, there's six there. Five of them are actually from the Karen Grimm collection of Black Horse Ranch. Um, so these guys are from her, and this little guy is from her. Not him. He's a little oddball. Um, I'm pretty happy with them. They're all really, really, really cute and in great condition. Uh, this guy's got a little warped leg. Uh, he's currently leaning up against his little buddy there to stand up, but that's a super, super easy fix. So I don't mind a warped leg here and there. Um, yeah. I love my little running foals. They are so stinking cute. And this is one of my like favorite purchases of the weekend. Um, so this is actually from Piggies Are Pink on Instagram. Uh, he's a resculpted running foal. And I just think he's just the cutest. He seriously just kind of looks at you with that face. I mean, look at that face. He's just like, hello. <laughs> um, she resculpted him to be sitting for her diorama entry and he was to he was looking at a painting um and I just I just love him super happy that I got him and uh I'm cool with it but oh it doesn't even show up on the camera um all that he's really got is a little nick on his ear there which I just like shelf models and I don't show so that's completely fine with me so little running full guy. Super, super happy. Now, these guys aren't mine. They're actually my fiance's. He went to Briarfest with me and we've been together for, oh, five and a half years. And so 
he has actually gotten into collecting mules. And so this is the first of his mule collection. He got some other stuff that I will be posting in this video. And uh, I'm not a big fan of this mold. Um, I think it's really cute and I'm glad that he likes the mules and I'm really really glad that he kind of likes something a little different than my taste and stuff. Um, so I will post the other mules that he got for himself from Briarfest. These are my fiance's other mules that he bought this weekend. Um, he also bought some stable mates and a resin, but those will be later. Um, yeah, these guys are really cute. He was actually on my list to get, but my fiance ended up getting him anyways for himself. So, I mean, they're all going to be in the same room, so we can enjoy them together. So, they're cuties. I love them. Love the ears. They're so cute. And Heartland is an official Grail Achieved. She, I have been looking for her forever. Um, I'm a kind of person that might find something, but I won't pay the price that some people want out of her. Um, she's another horse that I feel like can be way overpriced. And uh, I found her for a very decent price of 125 I felt like that was pretty good. Um, I hate when she goes on eBay for like 200 or or even more. It's like, really? Come on. But, uh, so I've been searching for her forever, and I just love her. The fact that she's glossy, because I love glossy, and she's an Appaloosa. Um, I love Bay Appaloosas. Um, she's just, oh, she's just awesome. So, that is Heartland. And I got these two on the Latigo mold. It's Platinum Star and Tallulah. Um, when she came out, or when she was released, I really, really wanted her, but I wasn't a part of the club. And uh, I wanted him since he came out last year to Briarfest, and I actually got him in the Ninja Pit of Death for a really good price. Um, so I was happy with that. And uh, I love her, um, her dapples. Her dapples are awesome. I love them. She's a very pretty little girl. So, happy with that. And love seeing their main comparisons. I think that's really cool as well. So, they'll fit in my conga really nicely. Now I have three on this mold. So, got a little conga started. Um, wouldn't mind having, actually, all of the other ones that are on the mold. I was looking for Latigo, but uh, I found him, but I kind of ran out of money. So, I did not get him. <laughs> and this is Buttercream on the Idakiss mold. Um, he's the only one that I bought that actually kind of, um, I wasn't super impressed with, um, in person. I saw him online, and I guess I had the impression that he was more of a, kind of a sooty horse, um, and I thought he might have had dapples by some of the pictures, but, um, I don't know, I still think he's adorable, he just isn't what I expected. Uh, really glad I got him. He's gonna go on my conga. Now I have, uh on that mold and he's cute um, probably not as cute as I thought but I like him and the Angus Bull he is also part of Karen Grimm's collection and got him because we have an Angus Bull and I just wanted kind of a little model that rep represented him um, I also have a Hereford Bull and a Charlet Bull and then the bowl that we got for the Briarfest special run. Um, not much to say about him. He's a bull. I mean, he's in really, really good condition. Not much else I can say about him. He's cute. So, yep. And these are the stable mates that we got this weekend. Um, I was kind of surprised that I didn't come home with more. I was actually planning on coming home with more. Um, there weren't as many customs on the stable mates as I was hoping for. Um, and the couple that I did find were a little overpriced, in my opinion. So, these are the ones that we did end up coming, did end up coming home with. Um, my fiancé bought four mules. Uh, he actually bought this one first, and he's a little scratched up. So we found that second black and white spotted one in Karen Grimm's collection and brought him home. And then the other two are in great con condition. And he's actually supposed to be a keychain, but he didn't have the keychain part. Um which my fiancé was actually looking for. He didn't want the keychain on. So that's that. And I got Rivet 
oh my god, I've been looking for him forever for a good price. Shopped around at the Clarion for a long time, and there was actually one that was priced at like 60 bucks. Like, ooh, that was a little too much. I, I ended up paying, I think, 20 for him, which pff, is like nothing compared to $60. So, yeah. And I got him, just picked him up for two for five bucks. I actually got him and him together um, for five dollars, which is amazing because he's a WEG stable mate. Um, he's the single stable mate, not the one in the shadow box. And then he's that JCPenney special run Rainer that some people have problems finding. And then last but not least is Dungaree. And I actually got him because the one that I got, I kind of dropped on the floor and broke his little ears off. So he's kind of a derp, so I needed another one. So those are the stable mates that we got at Briar. So these are my little brother's Big Bens. He uh, kind of discovered that he likes the Big Ben mold after shopping around at the Clarion. They're pretty cool. <laughs> that's, that's the little brother in the background. And uh, so his first purchase was Big or Sergeant Pepper on the Big Ben mold. Uh, he was part of Karen Grimm's collection of Black Horse Ranch. And then his other purchase was Cryptic. He got him at the Briar store for only 20 bucks. And uh, little brother thinks he's pretty cool because he glows in the dark. So he's pretty impressed with that. So those are the Big Bens. And finally, my loves, my little newsworthies. They are so goddamn cute. Excuse the language. Oops. Um, so the first one is Matt, Mr. Chips. I picked him up at the swap meet for 60 bucks, which I'm really impressed with. He's so cute, his little face. And then I actually was able to find Glossy Mr. Chips, which is a run of 95 horses, and got him for a decent price as well. And then I got this guy. He's an etchy, um... I'm not sure who the artist is because they wrote it on the tag, but it wasn't really a good name. So, an etchy on the Newsworthy mold to a little Roan Pinto. And then finally, I finished off my um, bronze, gold, and silver collection, and I got bronze and silver to match my gold. And there's my gold. So, these are my Newsworthies that I got at Briarfest.